Everything is in order. Thank you. Svensson, how are you? Gentlemen, our people believe the underground has found a rocket bomb and notified Americans. An American airplane followed us and flew past. Yes, a C-47. I think it should not be hard to find. Gentlemen. Thanks, Alma. Yeah. Yeah, the store. That's going to hold us. No notice. 
And uh, when the Nazis make an unexpected move, it is dangerous. What do you think they know about us? Well, we know they very well saw us. Well, one of them is their uh, rocket expert, Dr. Tonsman. And uh, I am sure that they are trying to locate the robot bomb. I see. Well, I also have another problem. One of my engines is giving me trouble. Do you think you can help me with that? Yeah. Uh, Lindstrom? Yeah. Uh, for secretary for the new plan. Yeah. Uh, Lindstrom is uh, an airplane mechanic. Oh, fine. Should we go fix it now? Uh, no. Uh, Inge will show you to a room where you may uh, wash up and rest. Uh, until we are sure that it is safe to move. Well, I'm sure that you gentlemen are hungry. And uh, until we come for you, you must not leave this building or even speak to travelers should they pass. Yes. Don't be afraid of it, Sergeant. It's very good. No telling how far they flew. They would not have come so low over Stockholm, Doctor, if they had meant to fly very far beyond. will be coming down soon and they expect a great deal of you. Here. One ale, one English pound. Excuse me, uh, I speak English. May I join you? Uh, will you explain to the sure. sir? Use a tear. several ugly little jokes that man plays upon himself as he muddles along. Perhaps I simply haven't a sense of humor for it. <laughs> you are uh, not then a soldier, Mr. Smith? <clears throat> no. I'm sure I'm something rather less than a soldier. But uh, you do serve your country in, in some capacity? Oh, yes. I serve her best by staying out of her way. Uh, ex 
Excuse me, may I fortify your drink? Uh, no, thank you. I, I think I had enough. Well, then. something for later. I'm afraid I've monopolized a conversation. Tell me about yourself. You're a businessman, I suppose. Yes, um, as a matter of fact, we're on our way to a rather important appointment. So I'm afraid we have to leave you now, Mr. Smith. What a pity. Crickin. Yeah. 